Welcome to another revolting video. Creamacast TV. Do you like collecting? Then please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the like button because it does something very special. It makes you younger. Oh, I feel better already. Oh, welcome back. This is part two of a series of three videos. And if you've come here by mistake, don't forget to uh, check out the first video. That'll ex give you a good old grounding. Now, um, yeah, these videos are basically uh, reviewing this lovely large set of World War One propaganda cartoons by the famous uh, cartoonist Ray Ma Louis Raymakers. Okay, this is where we uh, left off in the last video at card 51 and we're just going to slowly work our way through to card 100 in these particular cards they they seem to be clustered into categories uh, here's an interesting one better a living dog than a dead lion they seem to be in clusters um, th this one dis uh, discusses the effects of chemical warfare and the zeppelin and also how the Germans financed the war. Here's a couple discussing the effects of the Zeppelin. The Zeppelin triumph, the wonders of cu uh, culture. Sarcastic look. Hang on a minute. Yes, the result of the Zeppelin raid in France shows the value of the German claim to the possession of culture and civilizing influence. One of the greatest features of the Zeppelin campaign is the slaughter it has wrought amongst such harmless civilians as this poor girl. And there she is, dead on the stretcher. And here's a similar kind of story. Presumably that's their dad um, dead on that hospital bed there, and the family's crying in front. Here's another one promoting the idea that the Germans are cowards and use civilians as shields. Uh, the wolf trap. Oh yeah, here's here's a couple of pictures um, showing representing uh, Germany's method for financing the war. What's it say on the back? Germany German war finance has been built on a very parallel system of borrowing, so that every hint of defeat, at every hint of the defeat, the commerce of the country is liable to be ruined. The cartoon illustrates the instability of the system, so you've got like a cards stacked up. Uh, that one this uh, shows lone jogglery. And there's a picture of Germany supposedly dancing with death. And here's another one showing how Germany supposedly is uh, turning its back on Christ Christianity and Easter. And then there's a series of cards uh, on America, the relationship between America and Germany. Don't forget, at this stage, America wasn't actually involved in the war, wasn't actually participating in the war. There's America um, giving the Kaiser the boot up the rear end. Culture has passed here. Here's a card showing the effects of a sea mine, uh, respectively a land mine, barbed wire. German barbed wire is more frightful than any other, having longer barbs set more closely together, as to so as to inflict the greatest possible amount of pain on the victim. And then we've got chem uh, ones discussing chemical warfare, such as the gas fiend. Notice it's a serpent that seems to be spraying the gas, which is another biblical kind of reference, I guess. And liquid fire, uh, flame fryers, I think. Is that an early form of napalm? I don't know. I don't think so, but uh, maybe you could uh, shed some light on that. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, the next 50. Okay, this is the end of part two. Uh, see you... See you on my uh, third video. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com.
Oh no, I'm afraid we've run out of time. But just before you go, please leave comments up below. And if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this, subscribe to the track. By clicking on the icon, up in the sky, a Queen of Cards TV.